Hello, my name is Edward Brown with the Core Edge Image and Charisma Institute. And today I want to talk about how you can transform your industry like charismatic leaders. I was reading recently in the Wall Street Journal where JC Penney's or JCP is transforming the stores, whereby they're going to be like small boutiques inside a big store. If you go into, for example, the boys' department, there's going to be a different color and a theme and a feel and an offering that's unique and different from the girls' department, which will have a different color, theme, and feel to it. So each department, I think 17 in total, will have its own boutique feel. And they all have iPads and probably Wi-Fi and a little Starbucks setup. And all these things are supposed to be transformational game changers. And so as I was thinking about, is this really transformational to take the idea of reasonably priced, low price items like a Walmart and the cool factor like a Target and merge the two, will that change the dynamics and the fortunes of JCP? It might. But I'm not totally convinced that that's a different kind of experience that isn't already being provided on some level. When I think about transformation, I'm thinking about what have you discovered or determined or founded that was based on unmet needs of individual consumers, but they didn't even know it. Or they didn't feel until you brought it to their manifestation that that exactly was missing. And I'm not sure if this concept does it for me or does it for being transformational. Now, if we talk about transformation inside industry like yours, I'm thinking that if most people, a great deal of people are buying online on some form, how can we transform the online experience and merge it with the retail experience? For example, if I'm a woman and I'm looking for a pair of jeans and I go to the women department, the jeans I want are either not in my size, out of stock, or look better or look different online than it does when I'm actually looking at the gene. Could I actually transform where well, you took my size, said I could put a stripe or flowers in the front, different color, different fact. Can I change and transform right before your eyes by you saying that we are looking for your needs to be met? Could I actually be plugged into a computer whereas 40 hours, 48 hours later, a pair of jeans or a pair of jeans are coming to my location and therefore not only have I gotten a couture experience of cutting fabric and cutting style to my liking, but also you have my email address that you can sell me things in the future. Is that transformational? Have I created an opportunity whereby the offline retail experience has actually married the online internet experience? Whether it has or not, that's the thinking I think transformational thinking does. It takes the best of all the systems and determine where the gaps are. Not the features, the unmet needs of the individual. So if I were to advise the CEO Ross and uh, um, Don Johnson, Ron Johnson, and the president Michael Francis of JCP, I would say that that was the kind of thinking that I would like to see inside their people in the marketing cells and the creative departments that they actually are enrolling this idea into. So that's where I need you to be when you start talking about where your ideas in transforming industry should be. It should be in what latent or unmet needs that people either talk about, circle around, and not really focus on, but you pick up on it because you see in patterns of behavior and patterns of conversation that you say, aha, this is what they're talking about. And then you go forward and then you transform the industry that way. If you want information on how to be more charismatic in your leadership ability, there's a link below to a website. Definitely tap into it. Determine that you want to be evolutionary, that you want to compete in a global economy, and that you want to be transformational inside your industry, inside your company, so that you can be profitable and productive moving forward.